So how long do you think that one is? And which one do you think measures longer than the other one? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, today, I'm quickly gonna show you how to dial in uh, your third and second axis with almost no tools, uh, except for obviously an Allen key and a simple leveling tool. Um, all right, quickly gonna put this camera on the tripod. So the first step will be to get a door frame that is level. Technically, all of them by specification should be level, but this one in particular, this one is rock solid. So this is our, our main um, door frame that we work with when we dial in our uh, access. You can see all of our Allen keys and stuff is pressed onto, onto the frame with some press stick uh, so that we don't have to look for them each and single time. If you can get yourself an extra pair of hands, uh, I'm gonna show you why and what I mean about that in a moment. So the first step will be to press the dovetail bar onto the door frame. And you want to get it more or less level. Uh, it's not train smash if it's not exactly, but the extra set of hands comes in over here. Um, he's going to hold the side for me. And then first off, I want to start with the second axis. Now you'll see, especially on the um, on the axle sides, it's marked over here, third axis, and with these two screws over here, your second axis. Um, the reason why I want to set in the second axis first is because we are working on the level plane right now. So I can see it's a bit out. I'll quickly show you. There you can see that the bubble is not entirely in the middle of the scope. So we want it exactly in the middle. Uh, we don't want anything touching the lines over there. Quickly gonna remove the side so I can show you where to loosen up all the screws. There you can exactly see, it says second axis. And these are the two bolts that you want to loosen in order to adjust your second axle. So, just gonna press the side against the door frame for me again. Then I'll loosen up these two screws. Okay, I'm gonna keep that and key in. Adjust this with my left hand. And then just slowly retighten the bolt again. While keeping a close eye on the bubble. Okay, so the first screw is not completely tight enough. I start with the second one, keep the scope in place, and voila. So, I still have to tighten that first bolt, but look at that. Now that is exactly in the middle. I'm gonna secure these two bolts, make sure that the bubble doesn't move, and then I'm going to show you how to set in your third axis. Okay, so bolt one secured, and bolt two secured. Now, for my second step, I want to determine uh, whether the third axis is in or not. Now, this is usually not the case, especially if your second axis was out. Okay. Now in order to determine that is to move your sight up and down against the door frame and you'll see the bubble moving left or right. Now this simulates a up or downhill shot. So if you are a tree stand hunter or you do a lot of 3D and field shoots, then this is detrimental. Even for a um, indoor free spot with the free spots uh, and even a Vegas target where you slightly have to aim up and down all the time you want the settings to be exactly in so I'm gonna tilt this side downwards so that I can easily see the bubble it's gonna press it against the door frame for me again then I'm gonna loosen up 
the third axis screws. Okay, I'm done doing this. I'm gonna position the bubble exactly in the middle. All right, so now you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So, you can tilt your scope in and out. Now, while this is being positioned at an angle and you move this to the middle and retighten it, okay. So I'd like to keep the scope in place because sometimes when you retighten the bolts, it will move a bit out of alignment. And it becomes really frustrating because it's uh, it's a process of going back and forth, back and forth all the time. Okay. So that from the camera side looks like money to me. So now, Okay, when you press onto the frame and move your, your side up again, your bubble should be staying in the middle all the time. Okay, so even moving it upward at this steep and extreme angle, it should stay in the middle, exactly in the same place. Let's check it at the level position again. One up, stays in. So now, when you have slight movements up and down on a target, you won't get left or right misses depending on how far out and to which side your third and second axis was, were, were out. You'll also see that these marks are not really a good indicator because there are a chance that you, uh, the guys who engraved this um, didn't do it exactly in the middle of the part. And the same goes with this second axis. So aligning these two, just for the sake of aligning them and think it's gonna be in, is, uh, it's a big mistake to do that. Especially with machining deviances between all these connecting parts up until the, um, the part where, you know, your scope attaches to the side itself, they can go a lot wrong. Um, and, it should actually be done uh, realigning your um, your second and third axis onto the bow, especially if it's not machined uh, with a square riser. If you have a nice and square riser, uh, and it's it, it doesn't have a lot of curves and stuff uh, around your side bracket, then it won't be a problem. Then this method is more than suitable. Uh, I'm quickly going to show you on the uh, HS Pro axle side where it doesn't have the option of a third axis but only the option of the second axis. Now on this side it doesn't allow you uh, to move your scopes windage uh, for the third axis so you only have the axis of adjusting your second axle uh, with these two screws so you'll be able to tilt your scope up and down. Just out of interest sake I want to see what this side does uh, because it took a big hit while hunting uh, you guys can't see completely but it looks to be a bit out so I'll have to readjust this side as well I will adjust this side off camera because it's just loosening these two bolts and then adjusting the scope up and down um, and that's basically my process of doing all of our second and third axis sights, especially on the target bows and the target sights that allow for that um, type of adjustment. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you know about someone who doesn't have all the fancy tools and the bow vices and stuff um, in order to adjust their uh, second and third axis, send this video along, uh, this might help them. And then, yeah, all you need is a leveling tool, square door frame, and your Allen keys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.